YouTube was good, be short to dev. And welcome to another episode, Road to Glory Tours the FC Soccer Manager 2018, episode 18. And I want to start this off before we get into the actual game. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and the support that you guys have shown the series uh, so far. Um, like you guys, knowing that you guys expect the series and are really enjoying it, really does give me that added fuel to keep making the series. Because if you go back to my channel, I've got a lot of series that started off and I made one episode, two episodes, and I just didn't stick with it. Uh, but I really stuck with this series. And a lot of that does come down to you guys knowing that you guys really, really like this series. So, um, appreciate everybody who comes through and comments, likes it, uh, has subscribed because of this series. Um, even has left a comment that may have been, you know, not as positive, maybe more constructive. I still appreciate all of you guys. So, with all that said, out the way, get into the game. And I need you guys' help. So, uh, you guys have been really pushing me to get Albin Lafon in at goalkeeper right that's been the number one thing get lafon almost every single video there's a comment to go and sign lafon and to be fair the man's got statistics to back up uh the ability it's good in one-on-ones good on shot stopping 72 overall rating could go on to become world class i've been presented with an opportunity uh i sent my scouts out to look at other goalkeepers and they went to england and they found me two goalkeepers in England who show me if anything the valuation in this game is screwed all the way up those keepers are Jordan Pickford at Everton and, and I mean he's not as good in command of area and handling as um, LaFont but he's got I think everything else around that is actually better on Pickford I can't compare for some reason I can't compare the two together like I can't compare a scout this players, I can just compare the players on the team, and Pickford uh, is better than Dupe in all departments. Um, and the other option is Jack Butland. Both of these dudes are way, way <laughs> uh, higher rated than I thought they, or not higher. They're higher rated. They're rated about where I thought they'd be. They're lower priced, eight million. The valuation is eight million. I'm sure Stokes not going to sell him for that much, but eight million is ridiculously low. For Jack Butler, uh, and same with Pickford being at six million. Now I've kind of decided to already buy a keeper, so I want to know: Do you guys think we should take a chance on Butlin and Pickford before the transfer window in January comes, and try to sign one of them? And in order, I'd probably try to sign Butlin then Pickford. Um, Butlin's what twenty-five. Pickford is twenty-four. Lafont. It's 19. So it's kind of like a question. Do you guys want me to sign? Basically, you guys want me to go after Butlin and Pickford, and then if they get if I get priced out of those two, go after LaFont, or do you guys want me to stay the course and go LaFont? I'm going to put the poll up here. Comment down below as well, and I'm going to go with that to start next episode off. So the first thing I'm doing next episode is bringing in or pre-signing a new goalkeeper for the January window. As long as LaFont doesn't go above the price that I, the money that I have either. We should have a little bit more cash to work with um, before the start of the next episode, I'm going to try to get on this game over the weekend to open up the little free balls they give you. Um, I'll stop working. Open up the little free balls they give you to get just that much more money uh, bringing into the team. And I may even, because uh, I think, can't you, like, get yeah, a cash injection? Well, you need the little SM credits for that. But anyway, you know, we'll never know. You, I might do something like that. I can't, I can't call. My mouse is acting up today. Anyway, um, one last look at the table before we start the game. We are six points up on the second place. No losses. I cannot say we are the only undefeated team in the league, though, because Stade de Reims, not lost either. Seven wins, six draws. So, can't go out and say we're the only unbeaten team, but we are doing it the most stylishly. Uh, something else that I was uh, requested in the comments is rotate the team around some more. And I'm going to work on that uh, this game. So I'm going to do a safe rotation and bring Luvion in for Endoy. And I'm also going to bring Brian Cohn in for Monte. I just really stuck hard with this team. And I think because of like superstition, because we've been winning and we've been not losing. And I don't want to lose. All right. Cassiera down the wing, finding Ronaldo Vieira. 
Moving it in, Luvion to Tehran. Marcus Tehran with the goal. I uh, think he's the leading scorer in League Do right now, um, with a, a ton basically of goals. And he just added another one to his tally right there. Uh oh, middle of the field. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be halftime. And yep, referee blows half time. We are going into the half up one nil. Let me make sure I stay on camera here. Um, looking at the player ratings, everybody except Cassiera is doing a good one. So I might swap Cassiera off for Clements a little bit later in the second half. Oh goodness, balls in the box. Oh wow, I, I've never seen it happen that way. Where where we're putting so much pressure on that the highlight starts in the middle of a failed attack and it comes out to a good attack. But uh, that was another goal for Tehran. And throw in the Tehran out there winning throw ins from the opponent where they are throwing. I don't remember. Oh, but that went right to the keeper though. GNN. We are all over them. BK on the run, whipping it across. Alenia over the keeper, 3 0. Y'all, we're keeping up the victories. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Let me make some changes. I mean, the, the boys are playing great. Is anyone coming in and play on the left? Uh, you'll miss playing left, can he? Yeah, we're gonna do that move there. Just to get silver arrest. Three now. I like this. It's basically a win. Um, because I don't think I've ever seen three goals scored in quicker succession on this game yet. It could happen, but I highly doubt it. 90th minute or 91st minute, BK on the wing. Whipping it in, Cassiera, last minute goal, making it 4-0. Good stuff from the boys. And 4-0, uh, yo, that's, a, that's another W, increasing the goal difference. Go ahead and let the keeper goal kick to run out the clock. Full time from the ref. Heading into the, the locker room and in the middle of November, still unbeaten, 4-0 over Claremont Foot. Good home win. Nothing like a home win. Look at those tins. Luvion, BK, Taram, Vieira. Goals from the front three. Ndoy came in, put in a seven as well. Not Ndoy, Monte. Sorry, I completely lost where I was. Just, just for giggles, dude. Uh, Stade Rings. Stade Rings won, so they're still unbeaten as well. Um, we're eight points up on them. But uh, Twa and, and Strasbourg, I say seven play. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a week for the game against Chateau. All right, in the spirit of team rotation, I'm gonna bring Monte back on this time for Brian Connell. Gonna go with the standard back four, and I'm going to um. This work is hard because this this four is diving in the midfield. It's hard to change anybody outside of defensive mid. Um. Because Alinea and Vieira, Tarama and Cassier are so important. So I'm going to kind of keep it as is. And we're just going to go at it like that and beat Chateau. You know, uh, Taram. Oh no, Cassier. Come on, dude. Pulling the shirt. Not what you want to do. And red card for pulling a shirt. That is not what you want to see. Uh, fortunately, though, he's a forward, so we're just going to let Teron one forward it for a while. And hopefully it won't come back to bite us. We're down to 10 men, though. But Alinea making it work. See, that was one person. Piera. Yeah, if we go down to the nine men, that's going to be wild. <sighs> Great. Okay, so... We're gonna have to swap Vieira out at some point because we cannot danger nine men. Like, we're gonna do it at halftime. BK, out wide, cross into a linea with 10 men. The boys out here. Yo, yo, I can't believe it, man. Like, th that, I feel like that just kind of shows the level, the golfing class, the level. Uh, of difference between us. Uh oh, I don't like being in defense with 10 men. Looks like we're going to get it into halftime, though. Yep, halftime. Uh, one now it shows. I feel like there's this the levels, the difference in levels between these two teams. And I'm going to go ahead and be safe here. And I'm going to bring in Burgundy as well. That way we get a little bit. 
Actually, no, I'm going to bring in a doy. So we've got three defenders. Uh, so we can just kind of keep the lead and, and have a little more defensive. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I want to play a little more uh, relaxed. Well, glad I kept Burgundy, uh, cause we need a new forward, and I don't trust uh, Clements enough to let him run wild as our one forward. And I'm glad I kept those subs as well. Um. Oh great, so Taram is injured mid game. That's never a good sign. Uh oh, Luvion on the free kick because Taram is off. And Luvion kicked it right to him. Um, I'm gonna need to put Burgenu on these things. Oh goodness. <sighs> Stress here because I don't really have a backup. Oh my goodness, we're going to lose both of our our forwards. For the next match. I just thought about that. I just thought about that. Son. A uh, corner for us. Because because Taran's probably hurt long term. Oh, gold for Monte. Just play Monte at, at center forward. But anyway, Monte, uh, not Monte. Taran just got injured. And Cassiera got a red. So Cassiera's off three matches. I don't even know who we're going to use. Like, who are going to be our forwards? Like, we've got Clements, who is not the forward we need. Uh, full time, as we pull off a 2 0 win over uh, Chateau. And it also kind of depends who we're playing against. That could almost be just as important. But it's almost never good when the injury happens in game. And yeah, Cassiera, uh, Red, Taram, injured. Let's get the bad news. That's that's Cassiera. What is Tehran? Ten weeks. That's that's three months. No, it's two months. That's two and a half months. It's November. This is and this is this sucks. This is the one position we had no depth in. Like no depth. Right? So just immediately I know step one is Clements has to come in and be get some first team football. And we're gonna go Burgundy as well. And this moves McKedju fan. And I'm gonna bring in uh one of our reserve team guys to be on the bench as well for time. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. You guys will see him at the start of the next game. All right, guys, it is uh, the first match of the new forwards. So we've got Burgundy in, uh, like we said, Burgundy can always play up front. Um, and then we've got uh, Sasha Clements, who's been on the bench. Then we brought in Maki Tall from the reserve squad. And then we've also moved Makedjuf in to right here, Florian Makedjuf. Um, pray for us, y'all. Pray. These next three games are going to be rough. Um, today we're up against Nimes, who's not too high up in the table, but it's still, you know, it's Nimes. It's, it's still a team where we're vulnerable. The defense is there, but the attack is gone, and that's scary. Uh, because this team is almost kind of revolved around having Taram and Cassiera to lead in the goals. Now we have to really lean on uh, Bergenu and Alenia to be creative to generate goals. Um, we might have a lot of draws. This is gonna, like, this is the scary part. It's not even to me about losses. It's about not getting wins. Uh, although BK down on the flanks, that doesn't stop. Bergenu in the middle. Bergenu is trying to prove me wrong, y'all. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, the scary part to me is not even that uh, we'll take losses. It's just that we won't get wins. And we'll start having, instead of, I'm mean, cool having wins, losses, and draws in a mix. Because that'll still kind of keep us near the top. Uh oh, uh, in the box, Luvion fouled him somehow. Um, but anyway, I want I don't want to have like a string of losses and draws where we don't pick up three points at all in any of the, the situations. That will be the dangerous part to me. 
uh, passing around our own half towards the end of the half. It probably means heading into halftime. It is. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and take Luvian off just because we can't deal with any more suspensions. Um, and we kept Ndoy on the bench. We still have McKay Jufin come in for anybody uh, in the midfield. And we got Mikey Tall. Might get Mikey Tall some... Uh, some uh, game time, some debut. His debut under me. He's been in the, in the reserve team since last season. So that'll be interesting to see. BK on the wing. That's, we, we love him on the wing, man. That means he's about to whip in the cross like that. And somehow that's off of Bergenu. Outside the box header off a cross, son. Are you kidding me? Looks like Mikey Tall might get some game time, man, after all, man. Yo. We might be able to we might be able to make this last. We might make it out alive and not go insane. Vieira on the wing. I'm loving having these midfielders play on the wing. Ah, oh, that was Alinea right that's a keeper right in the midst. I'm gonna go ahead and make the change. Shots to Clemens off. Maki Tall getting some game time. Debut for Maki Tall. And we're gonna end the game and it looks like uh 2-0. I'm liking it. 2-0. Whew, keeping the winning ways going. Oh my goodness. That that last game was so, so, so scary. But towards two, Neems nil. Get those manager points. I'm, I, yeah, I know how much I love some good manager points. BK to Bergenu times two. Maki Tall on the six in his first uh, match with the squad, with the first team. So we're keeping our six point lead over over Twa and Strasbourg I'll say is still pushing behind Stad the Reams is as well. Uh, so I'll see you guys for the last match, which will be the first match of December. Last match of this episode against Quivelli Ruin. Alright, so to the rotation, I'm gonna bring in Doi back in for Luvion. And that's the level, I think that's the limit that I'm willing to stretch right now. I have to look at these guys' statistics some more, especially some of the guys um, that I currently have in the, in the squad um, or the reserves or whatever, as well as the reserve team. Let's see if I need to make some more swaps because we do need to long-term plan for the absence of Taram. But uh, right now we're going to roll with these same squad here. Maki Tall, Bergenu, who's getting a little tired. I might have to end up swapping Tall and Bergenu, although eventually it's going to be Clements and Cassiera. Uh, once Castilla returns from his red car suspension, but let's keep this uh, unbeaten train rolling. Can you imagine if this was the loss against the team that I believe at the bottom of the table or near the bottom of the table? Um, Cavelli Ruin. Look at the table at the end of the episode. Monte, the center back, to Alinea Bergenu around the keeper, one nil from Bergs. Lovely stuff from the boys. Just getting the wins. I'm, I, I like this. I want the wins. Uh oh. What was that? Dupe out here making it look real easy to bring in LaFont or Pickford or Butlin. Remember that. Vote in the poll uh, in this episode. Clicking the eye up there. Oh no, this is in our half a lot. Not a fan. Not a fan. Dupe. Woo. I was ready to call. I was ready to cuss Dupe's name and then he made the save. But anyway, be sure to vote in the poll to let me know who we should get. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Dupe is a little bit more alert than I wanted to. I'm not like that possession being so red. Um, because we shouldn't be our midfielders should be uh doing pretty pretty well. We have one of the, I would imagine one of the best midfields in this league right now. Play a long ball here. Ah, I played it back. Halftime. One one draw right now against Quivelli Ruin. Or Quevey Quive, I don't I'm not sure how to say it. Uh Clemens is on a three. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Maki Tall switch right now. And we're gonna roll just like that. Okay, up Alinea Bergenu. Uh oh, that's the combination I can deal with. Alinea taking it back. Alinea making it 2 1. Carlos Alinea. Great signing. Dude's going to be, he is, he is going to be hard to keep, and he'll probably be a good player for us to. That's why I wanted to sign young, talented players that are going to only get better because in a few years, whenever I want, you know, I have to sell them or, or need some more money, I'll be able to flip them. Here's Burgundy, though, showing us that the old head still got it. 3 1. 
He's like, nah, you're not losing today. You're not drawing today. We're getting these wins. I think we're on another undefeated episode right now. I'm pretty sure we've won the last four matches or last two, uh, three matches. And just ice it for us. Ronaldo Vieira, four to one. And let's just bring in, uh, because even Maki Taz are there on six. Let's go ahead. Uh, we'll bring in, I'm bringing Craddock. Get him some minutes. And also, I'll just freshen up the defense entirely. Um, and Maki Tal was a, uh, the third sub. So it's a goal. Three to four to one, sorry. Tours over Crivelli Rue. I, I, like I said, I knew this team was kind of lower on the table. And uh, we, I mean, we're first on the table for a reason. Make it work. You know what I mean? Make it work with the fact that, sorry, make it work with the fact that we got the best team. You know, best rest of the team. Lack of fours doesn't matter to us. We got this corner kick, whipping it in. Five, BK with five. Five, son. It's over. It's over. Five, one. Ugh, the goal differential is just looking. Oh, the goal differential. In 94th minute, we're passing around our own halves. Probably full time soon. Yes, it is. Five to one. They got their goal, so good for them on that. But we turn it up in the second half. And it's going to show in this timeline. Uh, the little match timeline there. Look at that. <laughs> 46 minutes, we put Mackie Tal on. Like, there was nothing happening in the entire back part of the first half. And then, bam, goal, 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 goal. Do we have five different goal scores? Uh, no, I think Burgundy put away two. Yes. Uh, Mackie Tal came in, put in a six. Uh, six is from Bianca Conan, gratted as well. Tens for a lot of the midfield. It's just lovely stuff to look at, ain't it? 5 1. 600 manager points. So we're getting closer and we're resuming towards um, level five. We need what? Um, two more episodes of two more episodes of nothing but wins would uh, put us. That would put us at, uh, yeah, 50 times. Eight would be 400, so that'd be a thousand. Um, that would be lovely. Let me check the schedule just to make sure I was I was not crazy. Nope, we have been undefeated in four, so we had an unbeaten episode again today. That is always what you want. Looking at the league, uh, yeah, Quivelli Ruin, not the bottom of the table, but they're eight points from the bottom, so um, we actually had a pretty good episode. This was, this was the episode to get hurt because we had we played 14. Uh, what do we play? 14th, 16th, 18th, and 19th. You know, this was the episode. This was the time to have a guy go out on a red card. Um, this was the time to have one of our guys go out on injury for two and a half months. Who do we got next episode? Lahav, Stad, which is the team that hasn't lost yet. We got Valencians in the uh, second cup, the Coupe de la Ligue. We got Nancy Lorraine. Looking at that in the league, um, Oh, we're a little bit higher up. Start the Reams. Hav. This is Valencia. It's Nathan Lorraine. So we're top half of the table next week or next episode. So on Monday, uh, it's going to be a little bit more of a stiff test for the new look team. We're going to have one game out, one game left without Mateo Cassiera. Then he'll be back. We will still be without Taram and we still have to figure out how to make that work. Anyway, guys. It's the end of this episode, man. I appreciate you guys sticking around. If you made it to the end, you like something going on here, so I want you to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. Keep up with this. We do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, comment down below. Like I said, vote in the poll. Comment what you think I should do regarding to the goalkeeper situation. Should I try to pursue um, and see if I can get Pickford or Butlin on the cheap? Or should I go for LaFont, who is younger and has more room to grow? Um, and also... Just thanks, man. Check out other videos. If you're new around here, catch up. The whole, all these videos on the playlist. Shop on the playlist. You can watch this team from where it was when we first started in episode one, 17 episodes ago, to right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody who comes through. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.